Yo, what's up everyone? It's Flakes. In this video, I'm gonna showcase you guys Lost Light. It's a game that I've been playing for almost two weeks now, and I wanna share it with you guys. I wanna show you guys why I'm addicted to it, and why you guys should give it a try, all right? So I have a little script here on screen that I've I've been writing out and so it makes it I'm gonna be I'm gonna be reading off of it because it's a lot of stuff that I wanna make sure that I say and get the message over to you guys. So alright, let's give it well, well let's start out, okay? So don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I'm live almost every single day. I'm gonna be streaming a lot of Lost Light in the next few days. So be sure to, to come on and see some gameplay, learn some tips and tricks, and talk to me, ask me some questions. Um, but yeah, drop a follow, know when I go live, uh, twitch.tv flakes, I'll see you there. So, first of all, the game is free to play, okay? So the game is free to play, so you really aren't going to lose anything giving it a try. You're not going to be paying a monthly subscription, you're not going to be paying a one-time fee, all right, you're just gonna be jumping in, giving it a try, you know, spending only, like you're gonna be spending just a, you know, maybe an hour or two of your time seeing if you enjoy it, right? And I think, honestly, with how gaming is right now, I think that's that's not a lot to ask for, because I, I don't know, I don't know, I, I speak for myself, gaming in 2023 has been so, so boring, and it's been, um, been very dry, and I don't know, I just don't enjoy it at all. So, any PC can run it, okay? So any PC can run this game. You could say that it's like, um, I don't know, how could we say it? Uh, it's like a, it's like a light, a light version of Tarkov, okay? It's, so it's a, it, basically this game, okay, it is a mobile game. It's a mobile game that's transitioned to PC, so it may look like a mobile game, it may have mobile game like uh, aspects to it okay so yeah that that's why okay so it's a mobile game that's transitioning to pc and so you have to think if it's transitioning from mobile that the quality of life like features in it are actually they're crazy man and once i show you some of these you're gonna wish that they were in some of the other games that you guys play that me and you guys have played okay like it's actually crazy the quality of life in this game okay so basically uh pretty much it's a casual light version of tarkov but it's way more pvp focused okay so this game is very pvp focused and i'll get to the points explaining why okay um for now i want to continue um, speaking on a few more uh, points that I have here so the quality of life features I'm gonna be showing you guys I'm gonna jump in game and we're gonna be we're gonna go over them okay so this is the shelter you're gonna spawn in sitting down on this uh, little crate here okay and you can just press any button to stand up and the first thing I want to tell you guys in the bottom left hand side of your screen over here there's going to be a Above the chat box, it's going to say a button and high display your cursor, okay? So this is how you get your screen, your mouse on your screen, okay? For me, it's the button underneath escape, left of one, above tab, okay? So the top left button, okay? Gets your mouse on the screen. But once you have your mouse on your screen, you don't need to run around everywhere. Like for example, Cycle Frontier, when you're in the station, you need to run to every single trader. Here you don't. Here you can go to the right hand side of your screen, press this little triangle and boom. You can absolutely um, go to access everything, access everything in your stash or your profile, anything from here. Okay, you don't need to run anywhere. So you have your storage here. I just upgraded mine from yesterday. Uh, let's open that up again. Here's my my storage, okay? And you, you can close out of it. Here's the, the traders. Here's the, the black market or flea market where you can literally look for anything. There you go. You can press escape to close out of it straight away. Here's your arsenal. I will be speaking about these a lot um, further down the road. Here's the weapon rack. 
you can even access the shooting range straight away from here bam look spawns you in the shooting range there you go press exit at the top to get out of it can access literally everything look you can go to the map to choose your games another absolutely cool thing is you can queue more than one map at the same time by clicking imagine you want to play windswept harbor but you also want to play mount akiyama so you press this little thing above it you also want to play arc you press this one as well bang now you're queuing for all three maps at the same time pretty fucking cool let me tell you um you can access absolutely everything from here crafting table dismantle table everything so a lot of quality of life stuff in the stash is crazy so another fast way to access your stash is at the bottom this little house symbol and this dog you just saw he barked you can go up to him and press this you'll now not do any more sounds so you won't see he's muted he's not making any sound now so now you go into the symbol and then if you can't find your dog to do that you press this little paw symbol press the dog and call back they added this last patch like it's crazy dude dude it's like everything's fall off it's crazy all right so this little house symbol you press you open it first of all you have your auto sort if you press it once you can press the custom type sequence and it'll give you this list and you can choose what gets sorted where so if you want containers at the bottom put it at the bottom if you want containers at the top put it at the top and then everything else however you want it and then you can also lock items in place so say you don't even care you just want these look there you can lock anything look you want this key to stay here and these containers to stay exactly where they are and these keychains to stay there bang confirm there you just saw my stash upgrade bam auto sort it doesn't move it doesn't move and you can see other stuff is moving you see and it doesn't move so that's one really cool thing another cool thing is imagine you just come back from a raid and you have loads of random items you want to sell an extra gun and you want to sell all of it fast you just press batch sell bat and you just click it all look at that it shows you how much you're gonna get and then you press press sell to heidi bang done and now you have this all in your bag and you want to get it out really fast you can press the move button so you press this little cogwheel first to set it up and here you can choose what gets sent out of your inventory so it, normally it's all it's all selected so you want to get rid of everything except backpack items and maybe secondary weapon if you only run a primary and you pick up a secondary and you want the secondary to go in right away as well and then you press save and then when you press the move button, it's just going to send everything over. It'll ask you to confirm it. And bang, it just got all sent over and in there. And another way to do this is imagine you have the same thing. You just press unload right here underneath the bag. Bang, gone straight away. Easy as that. <laughs> and then auto sort the stash again. It's really, it's really crazy. And then imagine you want to kit up straight away. You just go to prepare your op screen. You can change your whole loadout, your absolute whole loadout from this screen. Want to change your helmet or buy a new helmet? Bang, you can do it from here. You want to check, uh, see if there's cheaper ones on the black market? You can do it here as well. Check your durability and buy it here. Half price. Bang. Armor though is, is a lot harder to buy. It's way cheaper. Here, look, bang, buy a new armor. Backpacks, can buy backpacks from here guns you can equip guns from your stash or you can go and make a new one like a stock look you find a stock m4 you can buy it and then deck it out uh meds everything and you can also make a preset loadout so what i did here since to save builds of my weapons for example, it's like right here, I made like a, a, a build with nothing equipped, just in case I want to use different armor or stuff. I just have the gun that I want to build straight away. So look, you'll say approximate cost, and then you literally just, you can just buy it here. So to set this up, you'd literally just go to your gun you want to set up, and then hit modify, put all the attachments you want on it. Look how clean this modifying system is, look at this. 
literally bang oh, i don't have that barrel unlocked yet here we go we're modding we're modding the this m4 turning it into a a meta m4 i'm not gonna go too into detail into it but look there's just so much stuff to change look let's just leave it like that for now apply now it's right here it's added on to this um to this uh, loadout right and i'm pretty sure it's showing locked because it has a, an attachment that i do not own which i think it's this uh, pistol i mean this uh, stock but we'll just put a different stock on there we go apply there we go and now i'll say the approximate cost and here's your new weapon in the in it and then i have a uh, another m4 set up here look my meta m4 and there you go it's insane and then you just you just go up apply the loadout then in this screen you just choose up all the other stuff you want to go with the gun pretty fucking cool um other things i want to mention is there is a stash management feature that allows you to open two windows of the stash or one of the stash and one of the arsenal and what i mean with this is for example we have some weapon attachments here and we want to put them in the arsenal if you click this arrow down below here and it opens up another stash window where you then can select arsenal drag your uh parts into there and voila or for example you have something on the last like last put like here look the money on page five and you want to put it into your storage money boxes at the top here bang you're just dragging money in there you go money's in there auto sort boom it's it's such an amazing feature and you can do it from any any page to any page and or to the arsenal to the crates in the arsenal the arms crates it's it's fucking amazing if you have your dog following you around and it's making noise and it's annoying you and you feel like it's uh, uh, making other people f like spot you easier, I recommend, dude, straight up, I recommend you turning the dog off. Just open your inventory, scroll down to the bottom, press hide, boom, he's gone. You're ready to game. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, that gets that sorted. Going back to the mobile-esque stuff about the, the game, so if you guys are very concerned about it, I will say it up. I'll say straight up, the game has like these. I don't know. You, you like Valorant even these kill sound effects when you kill someone or you down someone, and um, yeah. So I mean, I think with the influx of a lot of players and uh, more feedback, maybe there'll be options to change this in the future to disable it. Who knows? But. Uh, but yeah, I'll say straight up, it has like a kill feedback sounds and stuff like that. And uh, that may turn you off, it may not. But if you're someone like me, who's very PvP driven, it's not gonna very, it's not gonna really bother you much. So with that being said, I'm highly in favor of gameplay over anything else. Okay. So with that, what that means is basically, I think gameplay should be way more important than sound effects, uh, graphics. Um, stuff like that, okay? And this game has that. The, like this game, the this game's gameplay is very solid, and it's very enjoyable. And um, the gunplay is very good as well. The gunplay is very good, and I think you guys will enjoy it. It's not what you're thinking. There is the guns do have re excuse me, guns do have recoil to it. So um, there is. It's not just pull down simulator, okay? A lot of guns actually do have a lot of recoil. So there's going to be a lot of uh, familiar guns for all of you Tarkov um, gamers out there. Um, but yeah, uh, this game, it plays really well and the base of it is good. And I definitely think it's more important about uh, like the gameplay is more important than anything else. So uh, I think you guys should give it a try based on that. So. There is an MMR system, okay? There is an MMR system, so new players don't get absolutely destroyed by veterans. And let me tell you, it does work, okay? It's not like other games we've played, wink, wink. Uh, it works, okay? The MMR system works here. Um, although, I will say, it might, they, they, it occasionally can be a way to circumvent it, but like, I don't know, maybe it could be something worked on. But there is a feature in game where if you go down you're able to to send an sos signal out 
to someone to come and save you. So say you die to to Raymond, who's the the AI <coughs> AI boss. Sorry about that. <clears throat> or you died to a player and you're down and he's not finished you and he's just leaving leaving you there or something. Well, you can call for an SOS. This go out to the global chat and someone will be able to join you through there. So a veteran player could join a lower player's SOS call. Okay. And I mean, if someone does the SOS, I mean, you'll see, you'll know and you'll see it. The guy who, who accepts the SOS and goes in to help, I mean, he falls out the freaking sky in a, like, a, like a little space shuttle thing. So, I mean, it's pretty loud, so it's very hard to miss, so you'll definitely see it. So it's not like you don't know that the guy's done an SOS. It also lets it gives you a little notification saying, oh, this guy sent out an SOS, okay? And then if, if someone does come in, you'll, you'll see it and hear it, okay? So right now, in this clip, you can see I'm going to loot this uh, this um, dead body just as part of the map and I found a key and you're thinking well I, n I don't even know where most of the key these keys might go and there's not many stuff online about it but look at this this game has such an insane feature you can open the key up and press track and it'll place a marker directly where the door is where the key goes right where the key the the door where the key goes and I'm gonna head over there right now as you can as you can see and I'm gonna go straight to that door here you can see I'm arriving close to where the door is I spot um, an AI further down the road to take him out and I, I run over down to, to where the, the door is so as you can see it's a real-time marker and what this does is it helps you memorize where these keys are and if you don't know where they are you don't need to rely on anyone else or the internet and googling every single thing where every single key is and here you go here's the viewing platform key there's a door bam, boom it unlocks and there you go and also if you go up to locked rooms there's a key that you can press which it shows which key is needed to unlock that door so then you can next game you can before next game you can go on the flea market and buy that key the, the black market and buy that key so yeah uh, i think that's absolutely amazing and it's pretty it's a pretty crazy quality of life feature so in this game you find items in raid to unlock them in the trader okay so it works different than most games where you do all the questing to unlock certain stuff okay from the traders in this game you have to go chase those airdrops chase those high tier loot rooms chase those the the key rooms buy keys to invest to look and it's hours of grinding to find those attachments and stuff that you're missing to then uh, unlock it from the trader so say i want to i want to unlock the m4 right i have to go to these airdrops try and find an m4 firm an airdrop for example come back uh, uh, survive the raid with it and then unlock it okay so i found it in raid i survived the raid i unlocked it and now i can buy an m the m4 with whatever attachments it came on because it will unlock those attachments as well okay so but then if you want to get an absolute meta decked out m4 I mean you can buy the attachments off the black market but they will like the flea market but you know how it is it'll be more expensive so the best way is to keep grinding find those attachments that you need to get the the meta m4 so you have to find every single attachment for those meta builds and then unlock them and then you can always buy them straight up from the traders and you don't have to re rely on anyone else or anything else so i think it's a, a like a, a different way to do it and i think it's also more pvp orientated because it's not having you grind out quests for a long period of time there is a lot of grinding in the game don't get me wrong for all of you guys i mean this is the grind itself finding all the attachments you need is a grind itself but then upgrading your secure container is another grind like and once i get to that you guys it, like it's it's very grindy okay it's very grindy but yeah, so everything from attachments, weapons, armor, m medical items, food items, all of that stuff you need to find in raid to then um, to then unlock it from the trader. Okay. So, like any other extraction shooter we played, uh, there is um, there's a shelter. So it's called the shelter, and you can you can upgrade. You can. There's a lot of stuff that helps you upgrade it in the shelter, okay? 
So the shelter has something called a weapon rack. So you can upgrade it up to four times, I think. And it's like a wall, a wall, a huge wall of guns where you can, I mean, a huge wall where you can put your guns, okay? So it essentially is to help you with your stash man management and, you know, your stash, uh, the, um, when people have their full stash problems, okay? So there's a lot of stuff that helps you fight stash problems. So there's the arsenal as well. The arsenal is basically a separate stash window, smaller than a usual, like your usual storage, um, like than your main storage, of course, but you can upgrade it, um, which you can, in that arsenal, you can attach um, weapon, weapon crates. So, so there's crates in this game, like uh, Tarkov, you have um, item cases, weapon cases and stuff like that. So you know the weapon case, basically you can attach the weapon case itself to the, a separate window on the arsenal. So then the case is not taking any space in your stash, in your main stash. It's also not taking st space in the arsenal, but it's its separate own window. So you like buy the case and then you incorporate it into the arsenal basically. So it's a lot of stuff to say it pretty much save space in your in your stash, which I think is pretty huge considering there's a lot of problem like uh, stash management problems. And I mean, don't get me wrong, you can still get full pretty easily. I won't lie, especially in the start. OK, before you have anything of this. So something that separates this game from games like uh, Cycle Frontier, for example, okay? Uh, um, it's a growing game. And maybe if you've been in my stream before, you'll hear me, you, you'll have heard me mention Roger, this before, but it's a growing game. And what I mean with this is it's never had a lot of exposure, thousands of players and huge streamers paid to advertise it, okay? So in my opinion, my opinion, that itself means a lot because growing from the ground up is a lot more meaningful than and it shows a lot more progression and s like a solid base over in achieving instant fame getting to the top having 50,000 players and then absolutely crashing down okay and we've seen this happen with a lot of games that me and you know and have played right so that itself means a lot to me i mean it's never had thousands of players it's a it's a game coming from from down up and a prime example of a game that has done this come from the ground up is hunt showdown and you may have heard me say this a lot of times on stream as well but i played hunt showdown when it had an average of a thousand players and it was a growing game and look at it now it's like up there into the average of thirty thousand players and it never started at the top that's the thing it came down up okay it went up it progressed that way they kept adding they kept adding and that's another thing i want to say this game i've been playing for two weeks and there's been three updates already three updates and in those updates they address certain things like um they added a spray can case which was much requested um they also in the update there was just like a, a few days ago they um they uh, improved weapon switching and ADSing drastically. Like it's how it's so butter smooth right now. It's what you would expect from any other game. But before it was a bit more clunkier because of its mobile roots. But now it's like it's perfect. It's, and uh, they're addressing these things. They're balancing stuff. Economy changes as well. This last update had an economy change where they bumped up the the spawn rate for GPUs because GPUs were insanely rare. So they bumped up the, the spawn rate for those. So they're changing stuff. They're not acknowledging stuff. Uh, the gunplay in this game is very solid. The modding system is very simple and has on-screen information and windows showing what's changing what. So you know what this attachment is doing and how it's going to affect your weapon, okay? So I'll show you guys clips of it or and like... I'll, I'll, show, I'll be showing you guys clips of it right now. So there's AI in this game like any other extraction shooter and there is also um, AI bosses. So for you guys who know Tarkov, there's a boss called Killer. Well, Raymond is basically Killer and sometimes I'll say he's even more annoying than Killer. Um, there's a player controlled black market economy. So it's basically the flea market from Tarkov. 
uh which also has um you can't buy stuff in in it from the trader and sell it straight away on the black market it's got like a, a 24 hour window so and you need to sell you can i think you can sell stuff straight away that's found in raid like you find it in raid and then you can instantly sell it on the black market yeah um so yeah now back to those features that i was talking about that were pvp focused so this game has the buyback feature i know i know it seems very weird for most of you to get on with this idea i think it's one of those things that's extremely different and unlike anything that we're used to so it's not something that you can abs that you can say yes to straight away it will be very weird and cheesy but once you play the game and once you see it in action and understand that it's a pvp centered game and that it incentivizes pvp in the way that if someone kills me i'm going to buy back and hunt them down because i want all my stuff back right or imagine i had loads of loot on me but there is the catch okay so you can buy back fully naked with a pistol which is free so you could go in free like from a pistol kill try and kill a scav and then try to go back for the player that killed you or you could you need a, an item which costs like a not a lot but it costs like 400k or something and then you need to spend another fee to use that item in game which can go from 500k to a mil to go back with a like preset loadout which is absolutely random they're always random these loadouts and um so it's kind of a gamble but you go in with a better gear instead of naked so you need to decide is it really worth me paying a mil plus the item that i paid for to go and get this loot back or should i just spawn him with a pistol and go next right so it does incentivize pvp because i mean I, when you're in that high meta um like uh, end game high meta you're gonna be wanting to go get your kits back and you're just in there for the pvp i think it's fun you just need to remember it's a game that's about pvp it's not um it's not just about like the the rest it's it's a looter shooter at its core but it's a pv like it's a focused pvp looter shooter which i think is fun and i think a lot of you um for example people who used to play cycle frontier until the very end who would just play for the pvp i think that can cater to your play style i think i i have absolutely a lot of fun with it and i think you guys will so basically this feature, like for example, Cycle. We were speaking about Cycle, right? In Cycle, you guys would die and you'd instantly gear up and drop in again to try and get into the same game. This is basically a built-in feature of that, right? It's basically a built-in feature of that, okay? So think of it that way. So bear in mind, this game also has self revives, like Call of Duty self revives. It's a syringe that you can use, have in your safe container and you can pop it when, when, when you're in a down state. They are pretty expensive though, they are a pretty penny. They're like 800k a pop. So it's one of those things where you need to choose whether you or not you're ready to spend 800k. Like, is it gonna be worth it? Is it just gonna be, so, you know, you're, you might lose a lot of money, stuff like that. So, um, I will say there is some stuff that may steam pay to win. Don't forget, it's a, it, it was the mobile game that's transitioning to PC. For example, there's um, uh, a monthly subscription you can pay to support the game, which is called Premium B, and it'll give you a feature where you can repair your armor with a hundred without losing any durability. You may see like this may seem huge, and it is pretty. It's like it's pretty fucking good, but I mean, it's not directly affecting you in game. Okay, so. Yeah, it's a bit pay to winny, but you're supporting the, the, the small game and it's something that's not affecting your in-game advantage over others. Because you can't pay, for example, you're not paying anything that's making your aim better or your positioning better. All of this can still get outclassed by someone who spent zero, okay? Zero, absolutely zero. So I wouldn't say that the game is pay to win at all. There is some tiny little details like that. Uh, um, obviously, I'd give a nice 
you know, I, I, it'll be like a nice thing to have, okay? It's a nice thing to have to who can pay for it, right? But it's also someone's basically directly supporting the game. Think of it that way. So, you can grind everything in game. Okay, absolutely everything. So like the secure containers in that, you can absolutely grind it in game without having to spend a penny. And most of the time there's always the way and to find or get something in game. Okay, in raid. So yeah, don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I'm live almost every single day. I'm going to be streaming a lot of Lost Light in the next few days. So be sure to, to come on and see some gameplay, learn some tips and tricks. And talk to me, ask me some questions. Um, but yeah, drop a follow, know when I go live, uh, twitch.tv flakes, I'll see you there. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. Peace out, peace out, much love, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Please give it a try, I think you guys will love it, and yeah, peace.